Leaving his home in the sure knowledge that he was on his way to jail, Ro Tai Wu bade farewell to his son and brother. The former president's family bowed in a sign of respect greater than Ro apparently felt toward his former office. After being charged with corruption, Ro faced reporters. He said he was sorry for what he had done and bore all responsibility. Fears Ro could tamper with evidence meant the 62-year-old former president was whisked away to a jail outside the South Korean capital where he'll stay until his trial. He's admitted amassing more than $650 million in kickbacks from big business, but the charges relate to only half of that. Ro has refused to answer questions on how the money was spent. It's believed Ro took bribes from at least 30 of South Korea's leading conglomerates. Ro served as president for six years. If convicted, he'll serve a different kind of term, 10 years to life.